How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student, and today we're going to be looking at the differences between Smile Direct Club and Invisalign. And to tell you the truth, I honestly didn't know the difference between them. I thought they were the same thing until I did my research and I wanted this information available to everyone because I know the Smile Direct Club ads are going crazy right now on social media. So before you invest into one or the other, you have an informed idea of what to get yourself. That is if you are considering getting your teeth aligned. Now really quick disclosure, I am not a dental expert in any way. We had like one lecture in medical school so far on oral health and I don't think that was enough for me to get robust knowledge on dental health, but I did do my personal research on the differences between the two systems and that's the information I'm presenting to you. So if you do want an expert opinion, I'm not an expert, go look elsewhere for that information. I'm just dumbing it down to the most consumable um, tidbits of information. So both systems, Invisalign and Smile Direct Club, aims to fulfill a need in dental health consumers, which is finding aligners that are clear and invisible. The traditional form, which are braces, oftentimes are not an aesthetic you want to portray when you are an adult such as myself i definitely know that i need i have some crooked teeth that i need to get aligned soon in the future but i definitely don't want to go into a clinic with my patients with a smile full of braces they'll think that i'm 12 years old practicing medicine which honestly might not be a bad thing but i do not want to have that look in front of my patients so there are a couple of key differences that you need to know about the difference between invisalign and smile direct club and the most major one that most people tend to prefer one over the other is cost smile direct club is substantially cheaper than invisalign even with insurance the most you ever pay for smile direct club is a little over two thousand dollars and Invisalign without insurance can range from $3,000 to $7,000, which is wild. And even with insurance, it's still a couple thousand. So if you don't have dental insurance, which the majority of Americans do not have, Smile Direct Club is the most logical and cost-efficient choice. It kind of blows my mind to know that Invisalign costs upwards up to $7,000 because my top surgery which literally destroyed my savings, <laughs> destroyed it, cost me around $7,000. And that was a huge chunk of mass in my entire body that was removed that cost that much. This is just aligning your teeth. In addition to the upward cost of Invisalign, Invisalign also requires you to see your dentist every six weeks to get your aligners checked up on. And that includes more visits and more money out of your pocket to continue using Invisalign. The plus point of that, however, is that if you are the type of person who does like to have contact with your dentist with every single checkup, you can have that. Smile Direct Club is something that you do on your own, aside from your regular dentist, and you kind of manage this with the people at Smile Direct Club. Your dentist will have little say on what you can get adjusted throughout the process of you using Smile Direct Club aligners. This goes on to one of the biggest faults of Smile Direct Club, and that is the fact that Invisalign offers more adjustments when you are getting its treatment done. It also includes, Invisalign includes composite attachments and buttons if you have teeth that need a little more tender love and care for it to be placed exactly where it needs to be placed so that it aligns properly. If you have an overbite, underbite, or teeth that are malocluded, Invisalign is a better option because they're able to have those specific attachments so that your teeth aligns properly and straight to get the best results possible. Smile Direct Club unfortunately doesn't have that option of including attachments. Also, when you get Invisalign started, your dentist will actually take pictures and 3D scans of your teeth to get the best impression of your teeth. With Smile Direct Club, you get an at-home kit that you do yourself which for the most part, people who can listen to instructions can do very well, but there is that small chance of error that it doesn't create a good mold of your teeth. There is a plus point, however, if you live in big cities, 
there are Smile Direct Club locations, physical locations out there that you can go and have them take the photos. Actually, there's one right in my city, um, so it's actually pretty accessible if you live in any major cities in the United States. However, I will say in the in the COVID-19 pandemic, it I don't think it's a good idea for you to go to a store and show your teeth to someone else. I just don't think it's a smart idea right now. So in the end, with the plus points and negatives of Smile Direct Club compared to Invisalign, if you really need meticulous work done on your teeth to be aligned properly and to fix any form of bite issues you have, Invisalign is a better option, although it may be more expensive. However, if your teeth is mostly aligned but you just want it to just be that much more precise, Smile Direct Club is the better option because it's cheaper. So there's pros and cons to both. Um, and there are definitely reasons why you should prefer one over the other depending on your unique needs. And if you're wondering, Ben, are you gonna get your teeth aligned soon? And my answer is absolutely not. I barely can afford rent right now. That's it for all the information I have for you today. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share this video with someone who may benefit from it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life. I even had a free binder giveaway this week, which was really fun to do and to make an impact on other people's lives. And stay tuned for the next video that I upload. This is Ben.